So I've driven to a very beautiful part of the country, just north of Brighton. I've gone for a little stroll in the woods, but I've come to meet someone. I've come to meet Mr. Dave Erasmus over there. So he very, very nicely invited me up to come and help him out with his awesome new shepherd's hut, which is over there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the membrane, finish off the membrane ready for when he comes back from the Himalayas. So it should be really, really a real special place to uh, come and stay. So what me and Dave have been doing at the moment is we've been just cutting, stapling the outside sort of membrane yeah. to keep this thing moisture free. We've done this whole top layer here all the way around and now, although a little bit darker, it is looking more and more like a, like a, like a house, like a little structure. Yeah. And there's a reason why we haven't done it on this side because this is going to be a oh there goes my staple gun. Uh, this is going to be a full glass wall, so we don't want a membrane here because uh, we're not going to want it because we don't want glass, so we can still see the beautiful woods. Startle the pheasant. Well, it's another beautiful day in the forest. And last night was actually quite cold, so I did find that I was tossing and turning a bit, but still absolutely fine this morning. Just cracked on my little heater. I'm definitely gonna look at other heater options because I, I don't feel that one pumps out enough um, to justify like a quick warm up in the morning. Right boys and girls, the plan is to take these four lengths and these are going to uh, screw to the frame of the toilet and provide the vertical uprights. Um, then I'm going to take this bit of ply that's underneath just here, that's going to be cut to the shape, cut a hole in it for the droppings to go through and then a toilet seat is going to go on top of that but I'm also going to attach a small frame to the plywood as well to strengthen it even further. Now to tidy up the bottom, I've cut these sort of bits of wood with an L shape and they'll slot over into the corners like that and we'll pad it up so it's not a lot on show. I am super chuffed with the way this come out. And it looks really nice and rustic, it's super strong. So you can really hammer down quickly. Sorry for the disgusting descriptive words there. But we've got plenty of uh, usable space on the sides for uh, toilet rolls and sawdust, I guess. Finally the end of our little trip in Corcovado and uh, unfortunately I've got to say goodbye to Dave. Yeah. Oh, all these machines in the real world. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, head on back to uh, sunny little Dorset. But yeah, man. Dave, thank you so, so much. Bro, thanks so much. Come again.
yeah. and bring your lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we can have, and maybe you can stay in the premium luxury oh, studio yeah. next time. Now yeah. you put the sweat in. Definitely, that'd be amazing. All right, man, safe travels. Thank you so much. Yeah, Catch see you, you next time. Bye. <laughs>